Oh, what's going on, dudes? HK Titan here with a brand new video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download mods in BTD6. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to come to this website right here. I'll be leaving a link to this website in the description below. So just go ahead and check that out uh, to go ahead and find this website. Next, we want to go ahead and download an app called the Melon Loader. So we'll go ahead and click on the Melon Loader and wait for that to download like so. And now that the Melon Loader app is downloaded, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to uh, the Mod Helper. And we're also going to download this as well. So you may get this alert that says that this type of file can be harmful to your computer. So we're going to go ahead and press keep because we will be needing this to actually get mods in BTD6. Next, we're going to go ahead and minimize out of this. And then we're going to come over to our downloads folder on our PCs. Now we're going to go ahead and open the Melon Loader app like so. And then we can go ahead and minimize out of our downloads folder. Next, we need to find BTD6 on our PC because that's how we're going to create a mods folder in our BTD6 game file. So we're going to go ahead and select and on my PC is probably going to be a little bit different for you guys, but I'm going to have mine in my F drive. Yours might be in your C drive or if you have multiple drives on your PC, just go ahead and try to locate your Steam file as best you can. All right, so now that we are in our F drive, I'm going to go ahead and click Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then we need to find a BTD6 in all of our games. So right here is Bloons Tower Defense 6. And now we have our Bloons TD6 file open. Now we need to click on Bloons TD6, the actual application, and press open. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go through and make sure all of your settings are exactly the same as I have here. And go ahead and press install. Now after you get this little pop-up saying the installation was successful, we're going to go ahead and press OK. And now we need to open Bloons Tower Defense 6. Now you will have the Melon Loader install itself to your Bloons Tower Defense 6 game. And it's going to take probably a couple of minutes for it to finish extracting and initializing the application. And then once we do this, we will have the mod folder in our actual game. All right, so now that you have the Melon Loader app on your BTD6, you're going to get this little pop-up that says modded client. Just press OK, and now we're going to go ahead and back out of BTD6. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our BTD6 folder once again. And if you did everything correctly, you should have this folder called mods pop up in your BTD6 Steam library. There we go. Right now, the folder is empty. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to reopen our downloads folder and we're going to drag the BTD6 mod helper over to this mods folder like so. Next, we're going to go ahead and restart our BTD6. And now that we have a BT6 open again, you're going to see this little button down here in the bottom right that says mods. Now, because they did a bunch of up updates with the BT6 mods, we can go ahead and come down here to the bottom right and check out all of the mods that are uploaded to the mod helper program. So let's go ahead and check out one of these mods and I can go ahead and show, show you guys the whole process of actually installing it. Um, Let's see here. Let's just go ahead and grab the ultimate cross pathing mod. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press download and then we're going to press yes. Now it's going to say successfully downloaded ultimate cross pathing .dll. Remember to restart to apply the changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press back. And as you guys can see, we have the ultimate cross path and it is enabled. The only thing we need to do is restart our balloons. All right, so now that we have our BT6 loaded up again, as you guys can see, we now have the ultimate cross pathing mod installed. And just to go ahead and show you guys that it's actually installed. I'll jump into sandbox really quick and then let's go ahead and place down a tower and let's go ahead and grab ourselves a five 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 attack shooter and there you go guys we officially have our first mod installed all right guys now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uninstall melon loader from your balloons in case you guys want to play contested territory or if you guys want to play any of the ranked bosses and stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and close out our balloons again and then we're going to come back to our downloads folder like so we're going to double click on our melon loader app and then the only thing we need to do is make sure that the steam lib library is still connected to our btd6 and then we just simply press uninstall all right and then one more thing before we actually start up the game once once again we need to come back to our btd6 folder inside of our steam apps and we also just need to delete the folder that says mods and then once this is deleted then we can go ahead and restart our btd6 and as you guys can see right here, we no longer have the mods button in the bottom right hand corner. And we now have access to contested territory, the race, as well as ranked boss event. And guys, one more thing. If at any point in time you guys struggle with installing the mods, 
Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this Discord server right here, the 1330 Studios. There's a lot of really smart peeps in here that will be able to help you out with any issues you guys are having. All right, guys, and that is how you officially install mods in PTD6. As of right now, there is currently no mods available for Apple products or mobile devices. If at any point in time that changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know and do a video on how to uh, install mods on those devices. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you guys aren't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe as well. I do upload quite a bit of BTD6 content. But anyways, dudes, you know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I'll see you guys in the next one.